Okay, we're going to work on this solutions video for we do question number two, one fifth divided by one and three fifths. And again, um, we're taking something less than one and dividing into groups bigger than one. So I'm going to start off with an estimation. We're just going to take this one fifth here and I'm going to convert it into two tenths. Then I'm going to divide two tenths and I'm going to round one and three fifths to two because one and three fifths is closer to two than it is to one. And I should get an answer of, oops, I should get an answer of uh, one tenth. And again, if we think about money, if I have 20 cents and I divide it evenly amongst two people, each person should get 10 cents. So one tenth is going to be my estimation. All right, so step one, we look at our two fractions. They're not both in fraction form. The first one is. So I'm just going to take one-fifth and simply copy it. And I'm going to still keep my division here because this first step is just about converting. Five times one plus three is eight-fifths. Eight-fifths. All right, so now that I've got everything in fraction form, now I can move on to step two. One-fifth, change the division to multiplication and write my fraction form of eight fifths after I have taken the reciprocal. So I'm going to box the second fraction. The denominator becomes, I'm sorry, the numerator, my bad. The numerator becomes the denominator. Here we go. It's late. And the denominator becomes the numerator, just like so. And so now I have a new problem for me to solve. Whoops, I don't want that up there. Close that, thank you. And I'm going to scroll up and rewrite my problem. Maybe, there we go. One fifth. multiplied by five eighths, multiply across this way, one times five is five, five times eight is 40. And we have our equal sign right here, right? Okay, so now I'm going to uh, reduce five goes into all right, five one time, five divided by five is one, 40 divided by five is eight, and I have a simplified answer of one eighth. Now I'm gonna go up and check it against my estimation. Get my hand tool here. One eighth and one tenth are very close to each other. So my answer makes sense.